Hey, welcome back to the shop. I promise this isn't just a picture of my crotch. Uh, what I'm trying to show you here is this table. Really heavy duty. Um, it's from the Fundus camera. And uh, it has this really cool mechanism. Whereas you press on this little... Yeah, you see down there? You press this knob, it releases this piston, which is spring-loaded. Yeah. And you can adjust the, the height of the table that way. So we're going to make ourselves a custom roll-around workbench uh, full of tools, clamps, and all the other stuff. Stick around and watch the video. It should be fun. So I originally thought, oh, I'll just throw a piece of uh, three-quarter thick plywood on top of this thing and uh, we'll be good to go. Maybe drill some holes. But then my wife purchased a table and it's uh, it didn't cut for like $3 and it didn't come with some of the stuff she needed to resell it. And it had these inserts and there's two of them. <laughs> So let's um, let's make the most of these. You spin my head right round. Okay, sorry. Alright, so in and of itself, this would be a pretty cool project. Uh, well, simple, easy, it took five minutes to do. But we're gonna we're gonna check it out. This is the second half. Ugh. So let's trick my ride.
<laughs> Interesting.
All right, here it is in its finished form. Uh, I've been using this for a couple months now, and uh, other than I need to uh, fix the... These two wheels are capable of locking in place. I need to fix the mechanism that allows for that. Uh, so that's something that it needs to be done and addressed. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. It, it works really well. The height adjustment is great as an outfeed for the table saw. Um, uh, it allows me to work on larger pieces. Uh, I, I quite like it. I'm sure in the comments you're already mentioning, why did you go with the parallelogram mechanism and not, um, say, like a sliding on rails mechanism, or even just a simple, like, hinge, tilted open, right? I wanted to be able to have stuff on top, uh, like there is now, and then just be able to go like that to access the interior while still keeping everything on top uh, where it is. Just because I'm in a small shop and as you can see I have a bad case of toolitis and being too busy at work to uh, to really get in here and clean. So <laughs> we're going to work on cleaning. Um, one, one other potential future project would be to put this Lincoln uh, MIG welder, it's a 110 MIG welder that I use, um, oh what is that called, I don't use gas with it, I use the, um, oh come on, somebody in the comments, tell me, uh, the coated, fill, uh, oh, tip of your tongue, flux core, flux core, I use flux core wire in here. So I'm thinking I maybe place this right here, build a little platform for it to sit on, uh, and then maybe have cord storage on the back side of here. Uh, that way it's uh, available as I roll this around because I end up using this quite a bit um, when I do anything outside uh, as the, the miller is tucked in back here, uh, the TIG welder. So that could be quite useful uh, to placing on here, just for rolling it around sake. Uh, but uh, that'll be a future project, and uh, if it ends up being interesting enough, I'll include it. As my day job tra is transitioning into a slower period for the moment, I may uh, start doing some computer modeling uh, videos. There's a few things uh, that I really want to 3D print. I uh, just really haven't had time to sit down and model it. Uh, so might be doing some tutorials stuff like that anyway hope you hope you enjoyed the video hope you're doing well and i'll see you in the next one